Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to retrieve uh, the information from the database and we are using a Spring Boot application here. So I have a table called player details and I have a simple API here which will pull all the player information. And we are using the repository type and my interface is player details service which extends JP repository and this is my entity. And entity is mapped with the player details. Let me show you how the table looks like. Okay, so here is the table. So if you take a look at the uh, table details, we have a team name and team player and country. So what am I expecting here? So basically I want to write an API which will give the team name and it will it will give the, the list of uh, player names belongs to each individual team. So basically here I just have a multiple players in it. So if I'm writing a query which has to return a team name and the list of players name within the same team. So first of all before we implement the logic in the uh, code we have to write a query. And since I'm using a MySQL database we're gonna write a query in native MySQL query. So the way how we can do that. So let's write a query. Select and the first thing which we need is a team name right so team underscore name and then we need a player name underscore name from player underscore details this is pretty much straightforward but when you run the query you know what will happen it will give the multiple entries for a single team but i don't want that i want a single name as avenger and i want a list of and names which contains the player names. So we need to modify the query. So since we are using MySQL database, we are going to use group concat. But if you are using Oracle database, we can use a list aggregation. For now, I'm gonna show you how we can do that using group concat. So here I'm gonna use a group underscore concat and the data I'm trying to concat here is a my player name. But if you run this code, you will again get a but you will get only one Avengers, I mean only one team, what about the rest of the team, correct? So you have to appropriate adding that group by. So how we can group by? We have to group by the team name because we have multiple team names, right? So let's add group by the team name, right? So let's try to do the same here. See now, we got four different teams and we have a list of team members. So when we write the same for the java logic i mean when you write a, co a jpa um, entity query in our spring boot application it's gonna give us a, a string and also it's a string which contains the comma separated team members so let's try to implement the same in the spring but we're gonna use the we are going to use this query in our method okay first thing let's go to our player detail service and this is the repository right so we're gonna create a query here so let's see how we can implement that. First thing, let's write a method. So for now, it is going to be written a some object, right? So I'm going to use a list of and it's going to be object of array because since we are using native array, we have no idea what type will come, right? So here I'm going to mention name like team details, get team details. Okay, so the next thing, so we have a method here, but we need to provide a query. So our Spring Boot has to execute the query and return the data as a list of objects. So here we have to use the query annotation here. Query and we need to provide value. Value which is nothing but our database query. And here I'm going to provide native query because I'm going to use a native query. So you need to enable it using native query is equal to true next thing just copy the query which we implemented here just copy it and go back to your method and that's it so now basically what will happen when you're calling this get team detail it will take this query and will execute and send the result back as the object of array so now the next thing we have to write a api method let's go back to control and here i'm going to create one more method at get mapping public so basically what i'm trying to do is i don't want to return a list of object of 
array all i need i have a separate a model here which is a team details so basically here team details is a java data transfer object which is a dtu or you can call them as a pojo as well so here i have a, a team name and i have a list of string which is nothing but the team members so let's try to send this as an outcome so go to controller i'm expecting a list of team details and get team details okay so here we need to write the logic so basically first thing what you need you need to call the method service sorry service and dot the method which we are trying to call get what is happening so get team details correct and it is going to return a list of objects correct so the next thing what we need to do the return type which we are trying to uh, return back as is a team details so we have to iterate this data and we have to manipulate this object so first let's create a list of team details and a list is equal to and let's create a new array list for that and we don't need to provide this and here i'm gonna return it return a list okay so the basic is done the next thing we need to retrieve the data and we are going to use the java 8 for each okay so team details dot for each method so it's, it's gonna provide the team details and let's open okay so here this for each method will low i mean i trade one by one from this particular object so every object contains an array so we have only two elements in it right i mean two fields which is nothing but a team name and team player names so basically it's array of zero it's array of one okay let's go back to controller and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create object for our team details team details dto is equal to new team detail so first thing what I need to do, one second. Okay, so now we have object. The next thing, DTO dot set a name, which is a team name, right? So team name is a straightforward. So object of, we have a team, right? Team of zero. So team of zero and we need to concatenate. Either you can dot two string or you can simply append a double quotes, which will convert this as a, a string. So it's a team name, right? Not a member. Okay, so the next thing is a little complicated. So what we are trying to do is, so team of one plus, so this is a string, right? So this is going to be a string and team members so here is a, a trickiest part so this team member contains a single string which contains comma separated value so what i need to do is we have to convert that into a a stream and then we can convert into a list okay so what i'm gonna do that first thing how we're gonna convert that into a, a stream using stream any other ideas simple stream of we're gonna use stream dot off method so if you want to create a stream either you need to use array so let's add this directly here right so which is much much better so let's do this or i'm gonna simply use dot as to string here let's make it much better so here team so here stream of a team a one which is a team member and then what i'm gonna do is we have to uh, split them dot so let's try something different let's try so team of one which is a array okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert that into a string so it's going to be team right now team p team of to a string okay so now basically what happened so we have a, a stream of 
and team members the next thing what we need it's a comma separator right so we need to split the data in as a comma separator so dot I spell it and I'm gonna use comma as a separator so each and every one of them converted into a, a simple a list and I'm gonna collect them back as collector as a list to a list collectors dot to a list so now we have a stream which contains collector dot to list so now what we can do, it's gonna return a list right so what I'm gonna do let's remove this one we don't need that anymore so dto dot set team members and you can directly pass this or you can retrieve this as a, a list and you can pass it here anything is fine so now we have an api which will get the information and return as a, a team details format which contains a, a team name and the team members so what i'm gonna do is let's stop the server and then start it again spring boot concept it might take few seconds to start it but before we did another mistake so we had to provide the proper url right so let's provide some uh, team details by name save it and restart it again string boot concepts so our application is getting started so we have two different APIs here one is giving all the player information and then as the player details and then we have a team details so server is up and running let's go back to our postman and this is the existing API which will give us all the player details see ID team name player names and country and every individual details but now we have to use the another API which is a team details by name let's give it a try okay so uh, 200 status but the response is not proper we have empty string or empty array here let's go back and check what is wrong we did a blunder mistake so we do have a list and we do not we forget to add the information into the team list that's a simple thing let's restart it again save it stop and start it again our application is getting started it might take few seconds got it our application is up and running let's go back and just try again see now we got a team name avengers but if you see the team members john adam paul dennis matthew and rebels we have different team members and here the trackers and the team members so basically the structure is in database is different and the way how we are returning the data is different okay i hope this video helps you so if you need more videos subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other in the next video thank you